Everybody's looking forward to this July convention, wondering what's going to happen. And I understand that on, on the first vote, if Trump doesn't get 12, 37, or nobody does, then, then many of the delegates become unbound on the second vote. And then if they move on to the third vote, they're saying anything could happen. Maybe they could go to somebody outside of the three men who are now running. It, is that, how would that happen? I know that that is not the, the likeliest scenario. But if they did decide, okay, Cruz can't get it, Kasich can't, Trump can't, who would decide who the other potential candidate is? The delegates on the floor would. I mean, I, I think it's highly unlikely, Megan, but if playing out your hypothetical, if we go through 25 ballots and, and no one can get to the majority, then the body would decide, you know, who the potential nominee would People be. People just start I mean, throwing out names really like the, delega the, delegates. the delegates can just start throwing out names. And if they get what, like a majority of the delegates to say, yeah, we, let's get that person in or how does it work? I, so I, whoever, the, whoever can get the majority vote of the delegates on the floor is going to be the nominee of the party. Now, I think that hypothetical is highly unlikely, mm -hmm. but if you play it out, that's what the rules say, that the majority rules, and whatever the majority on the floor decides is who the nominee is going so to be. So some buzz could get going among the delegates. They could be like, you know, General Mattis, whatever it is, and then, and then it goes from there. Let me ask you this. So between June 7th, when California votes, among other states, and July, you know, the end of July, when the convention happens, these candidates are allowed to woo the delegates. Like, they can, you know, they can wine them, they can dine them, they can't give them cash, but they can do a bunch of other stuff. So what do you think we should expect to see if no one has a clear majority as of June 7th? What, what do you think Trump's going to do with these delegates? What do you anticipate Cruz is going to do with them? <laughs> I have no idea, Megan. But, you know, here's the thing for everyone to understand. No one's been through this before. There are no experts at this process. So the last time we had a multi-ballot convention was in 1940. So, you know, I know we're filling a lot of space on television, but no one really knows what to expect. That's going to be disconcerting um, for you. <laughs> well, you know, listen, I mean, that's, it is because you always have to bat down a lot of narratives. I think we spend a lot of time on hypotheticals that I don't think are going to be a reality. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do think that the, the people run advantage. I think this sort of hypothetical of some 25th ballot thing happening is very unlikely. But we have to be ready for anything. And this is something that's new for our party. And we don't know whether Ted Cruz or, or Donald Trump can actually get to the majority before the convention, which would put all of this to rest. Mm -hmm. But we will be prepared as a party. And that's my job is for us to be prepared and to help people understand the process. Do you, do you that do for any like meditation decades, no one's paid attention to. You may, you may need to have some Eastern <laughs> medicine or something introduced right. in your life between right. now and July. It's just a thought. Right. You, can, you take it or reject it at your at your leisure. <laughs> You bet. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Great to see you. You bet. Thank you.